There are many different types of waves, but, but what terms can we use to describe them? I found no answers here in Holland. I had to go on a Caribbean cruise to investigate further. Here we are in the Caribbean Ocean. We're going to study waves. Waves have several properties we use to describe them. Probably the most important terms are frequency, wavelength and amplitude. Let's start with amplitude. The amplitude of a wave is the maximum disturbance from its equilibrium position. It's measured in meters. The amplitude of a wave dictates how much energy it has. It's um, a bit like a strength, really. The bigger the amplitude, the bigger the intensity of the wave. Are you sure you've got me in this shop, Ray? Be careful. The amplitude of a wave is always measured from the centre of oscillation to the peak or the crest of the wave. It's never measured from peak to peak. That's just plain wrong. By looking at water waves, we can easily see the effect that amplitude has on the intensity and the power of the wave. Myself and the crew travel the world looking for real-life examples of high-amplitude water waves. We searched for them in Thailand, Croatia and Holland found only small amplitude waves at great expense at each location. What have you come here again for? Well, it's rubbish, there's nothing, there's no wave, the waves are pathetic. I can't see anything, no diffraction or anything, it's rubbish. It was cheap, wasn't it? Well, it was cheap, because it's cheap, it's off season. It's like minus two degrees, it's February. I know we spent all the budget on Thailand, but this is ridiculous. I mean, there's not any windmills around here. Where's Holland? The last, after travelling to the Turkish Riviera, I found exactly what I was looking for. High amplitude, powerful waves. The power of this wave is incredible. We are alive. Back to our tsunami is like. While looking up water waves, we can easily see the effect that amplitude has on the intensity and the power of the wave. Caused by the wave the outer sea, the wave is coming. The energy is released when you hit the beach. <laughs> Sadly, Bob Smith, the key grip in our film crew, was swept out to sea by this huge wave and never seen again. Don, oh sorry, Bob was a valuable member of the team and was utterly irreplaceable insofar as no one actually knew what a key grip actually does. Bob leaves behind him a wife, two children and a £2,500 bar bill at the hotel in Turkey which I'm sure his estate will only be too happy to settle. The crew that knew him well assure me that Bob was both emotionally and quite literally on the crest of a wave as he died and will be clearly missed. What? That's a bad taste. It's bordering on poetry. Bob was a true legend in film key grippery and it's important to remember that he died so that science information could be communicated more betterly. Bob Smith. Respect. Right lads, soothe round is it? Get the drinks in, come on. All done. Sorry, but Bob wouldn't have liked us bullying Mid Brown miserable, would he? No. Are you sure it was called? Oh. What, what did he actually do? Was any, does anyone know? After almost seven hours of respectful mourning, he decided to carry on filming. It's what Don, sorry Bob, would have wanted, probably. Hello from the Turkish Riviera again. It's the next day. The storms have gone away. The sea's a bit calmer, as you can see. The waves don't have quite so much energy. Just to give you some idea of the power of the waves, the beach in this area is actually about six or seven centimetres higher than it was yesterday because the waves have dumped so much sand onto the beach during the storm. Of course, the largest amplitude water waves we see are those generated by earthquakes. Soon armies. In Boxing Day 2004, an earthquake struck off the coast of Sumatra. It unleashed a series of tsunamis that travelled across the Indian Ocean. And some of those tsunamis arrived here in Patong. One of the waves was as high as those buildings are there. It reached the third story of that building. That's how big the waves were. Those complete stories were taken off and they have to be completely re-renovated. 
here in Thailand, 5,000 people were officially proclaimed dead, although it's probably as much as 8,000 due to lots of illegal immigrants. People who they, they just didn't know they were here. There's still thousands of people missing from the tsunami. Tsunami evacuation signs are absolutely everywhere. Basically, get to high ground and run. Of course, the amplitude of the waves here in the Caribbean Ocean hardly bother this huge luxury cruise line I'm on. It's because it's so large and luxurious. So, how do changes in amplitude affect the behaviour of other types of waves? The bigger the amplitude of a sound wave, the louder it is. See what I did there? Make my voice a bit louder to emphasise it. That's why I'm a great science communicator. What are you doing? Can't you? Of course you can't hear me. Of course, I'm whispering, small amplitude. Get it? Genius. Yeah. Hey, I can lip read, you know. Very loud sounds, like the ship's hooter, have a very large amplitude. Hooter? Is hooter the right word for that? Amplifiers are used to increase the amplitude of sound waves, like this guitar amp. It makes them louder. So does that mean that, like a guitar amplifier, yeah. it's called that because it amplifies the sound of the guitar and makes the guitar louder? Yeah. Is that why it's called that? Yeah. Wow. Do, do you know yeah. that? Yeah, of course I knew that. I'm just clarifying it for the uh, for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm not. Do you think I'm stupid or what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'm not playing. changing the subject. No, I'm not changing the subject. If we increase the amplitude of an infrared wave, it will feel hotter to us. Its intensity increases. Take the high amplitude waves given out by stars like the Sun, which are incredibly hot and intense, compared to the relatively low amplitude infrared waves given out by this electric stovey, hobby, cookery thing, you know, whatever those things women use in the kitchen. Um, so you know what? Me? 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 Sexist? How can I be sexist? My ex-wife used to be a woman. In fact, she still is. Sexist. When there's uh, something burning here, can someone go and get Jill to sort it out? I'm not even sure how to turn this off to be honest. Jill, Jill, what to do? Can get her. Sexist. Jill. The bigger the amplitude of a light wave, the brighter the light will be. Here I am again in the secret army base just outside Dusseldorf. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. The light given out by this light bulb is very dim. A bit like you brought it up. Is that not funny? Okay. It's because it's got a very small amplitude. Small one. By increasing the amount of electric current flowing through the lamp, I can actually make it much brighter, and therefore increasing the amplitude of the light emitted. Of course, this laser beam has quite a high amplitude, okay? As we can see, I just point it to the camera. Now, you've got to be careful with laser beams. They do have a high amplitude, so you can hear a light source, and if you get in someone's eye, then you can actually cause them to go oh, blind. Oh, You're right, Cyril. Oh, so, did they get you? I'm sorry, Cyril, I'm sorry. I'm going to send you right foxes in you. You're like, you can see What for? You're yeah, not blind. Put yourself together. Man, I'll back up. Man, what's, what's wrong with you? You've got another eye. I mean, it could be worse. It's not, it's not like you're dead, like, like Don is. I mean, Bob. Bob. <laughs> Sue me. Man, I'll... So, what have we found out from the fatal consequences of this global adventure? The amplitude of a wave is the maximum distance moved by a point from its equilibrium position. The bigger the amplitude of a wave, the greater its intensity. Hmm, not that much really. Oh well. In our next mini so we'll be talking about the frequency of waves. See you then. So what does a key grip actually do? I mean, I used to see Don, sorry, sorry Bob, yeah, I mean, he did hold on to things quite tightly, didn't he? And now I think about it, it was mainly other people's keys. Weird. <laughs>